and good morning my YouTube viewers it is Crystal here and I'm just here this morning because I want to give you another code review and what we're going to review this morning is going to be linear regression I'm going to do a demonstration of linear regression and then basically I'm going to use like a homemade li linear regression model versus SK Learn's linear regression model and we will see which model gives us the best or the least error because that's what you're looking for in linear regression you're looking for the least error so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import the libraries that we're going to need and the program that I've written on Google Colab which is a free online Jupyter notebook so we're going to import NumPy as NP, we're going to import Pandas as PD, we're going to import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT, and we're going to import Seaborn as SNS. And a NumPy is your numerical uh, library, it performs numerical computations and creates NumPy arrays. Pandas is your data processing library, and it... Um, it creates data frames. Matplotlib is a graphics library and it plots your data points onto a graph. And Seaborn is also a graphics library, but it performs statistical calculations along with the graphics. So after we've imported the libraries, then what we're going to do is we're going to import a, we're going to read a file that I got off of GitHub. So data equals PD dot read CSV and then this is the um, web address to the CSV file for a head brain. So it's going to take the size of the head and the brain of the weight. So the weight of the brain. Sorry, it's early in the morning. And then we're going to print the shape of the data. So you've got 237 rows by four columns. And then you're going to look at data. And so in this particular data frame, we've got gender, age range, head size, and brain weight. But the only two columns that we're going to be using are brain size and brain weight. What's interesting, what I think I want to do is I want to do a scatter plot. No, that's not. try this see what happens
So here's the scatter plot, scatter plot of the um, brain-sized brain wave. So that's interesting, don't you think? And then I decided to use the um, eye lock, but somebody told me the eye lock is being deprecated, but I'm not happy about that. I hope it doesn't get deprecated. So we talked about the uh, data frame where we're only using uh, the brain size and the brain weight. We're not using the other columns. And so this is row two and this is row three. And the reason why is because I don't know if you know this or remember this, but in Python, the numbering system starts with zero. So what we're going to do now is we did a disk plot of row three, which is the um, brain weight. And so it's almost, it forms a normal distribution almost. And then we, we've done a scatter plot between the uh, brain size and the brain weight. So you can see how the brain size and the brain weight correspond with each other. And then what we do here is we take our X and our Y values and your X value is your independent values and your Y value is your dependent value. So your X value is going to be the second column. And I just decided I wanted to use I lock instead of brain weight, brain size and brain weight. But I was watching a video and it said the eye lock is deprecated, but I hope that doesn't happen. I hope they don't uh, deprecate eye lock because I really like using eye lock and lock. And you can use that instead of using um, the names of the columns because sometimes the data frame doesn't have column names, especially if it is a NumPy array. I don't work with NumPy arrays that much, but I want to start working with them. And then, uh, so m equals length of x. And so now we're going to calculate the mean of x and y. So mean x equals np dot mean x. M, m y equals np dot mean y. And uh, the mean functions are part of the NumPy library, and that's why you've got the NP in there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try to create this linear regression from scratch. So numer equals zero, denom equals zero for i in range m. Numer equals numer plus xi minus mean x times yi minus mean y. Denom equals denom plus xi minus mean x to the power of 2. b1 equals numer over denom. b0 equals mean y minus b1 times mean x. It says print b1 and b0, so b1 is 0 0.26 and b0 is 3.5. Now we go max x equals np dot max x plus 100, min x equals np dot min x minus 100, and um, little x equals np dot lin space, min x max x 1000, and y equals b0 plus b1 times little x. So that's some more stuff to do with. Oh, excuse me, it's early in the morning. More stuff to do with um, creating this linear regression model. SST equals zero, SSR equals zero for i in range m. Y pred equals b zero plus b one times x to the i. So basically. That's your linear regression formula. SST equals SST plus 
yi minus mean y to the power of 2, SSR equals SSR plus yi minus y pret to the power of 2. R2 equals 1 minus SSR over SST, print R2, and R2 you have 63, 0.639, so that means you have an accuracy of 63.9%. Now we're going to check the error, because the error is what you want to see when you have a regression model. So MSC equals NP dot square, brackets NP dot subtract, brackets Y comma Y pred, brackets brackets dot mean brackets. That's your MSC, but RMSC is what we like to work with. So RMSC equals NP square root brackets MSC. And so your MSC is 18,518 and your RMSC is 136, which is what I like to use. And now we're going to plot it onto a graph. We plotted this onto a graph and so we've got our, um, the label it says regression line, but I don't see the label saying regression line. And then, then you have your scatter plot. And then plot head size, plot X label, plt.x label head size CM, CM3, and PMT Y label, plt.y label is brain weight in grams. And so you can see the the green is the regression line, although we should have a legend, and we don't have a legend here. So, try it again. Yeah, there we go. There we've got our legend. So, the green line is your regression line, and your orange is your scatter plot. So we've got that. So you can see we've got an error of 136. That's the RMSC, which is what I like to think with. And then we've got our regression line and we've got the actual points. And so you can see how the actual points fit on the regression line. So now we're going to use SK Learns linear regression model. So x equals x dot reshape m comma one. So the reshape m comma one is m is the length of x, and then one means it's a one-dimensional array. Model equals linear regression brackets dot fit x y. So we're training and fitting the data into the model. Y pred equals model dot predict x, which you're not really supposed to be doing that. You're not supposed to um, predict on the same data that you have trained the, trained the model on. That's one thing that you're not supposed to do. But since this is, I got this information off of Eureka, and that's why it's a demonstration. And so that's what Edureka did. But strictly speaking, you're not supposed to predict on the same data that you've trained and fitted. But this is what Edureka has done. And I'm just recreating what they've done in their course. And so um, R2 underscore score equals model dot score x, y and print R2 score, and so we've got 63.9% accuracy, which is the same thing that we had in our homemade linear regression. And now we're gonna check our error, and uh, our RMSC, which is what I wanna use is 72. So RMSC is 72 with SK Learn, and it is, 136 with the homemade linear regression. So with the SK Learn, the RMSC has 
less error than it does with the homemade linear regression. And then we're going to plot it onto a graph. And you can see the line. And, and you, you can see the line, which what I want to do here is I want to do this. See what happens. Well, I was hoping that it would give me a X label and a Y label, but it's not done that. It says no handles with labels found to put on legend. So let's see what it says here. So it says no handles to put on the legend. So, because I used a different, um, I used a different um, piece of code. Well, we'll just leave it like that for the time being because I don't want to play around with the code too much. And the reason why is because, um, you know, I don't want to get stuck into something. Let's try restart and run off and hope for the best. But the dashed line is the regression line and the blue dots are the actual data points of the actual values. So it says no handles with labels found to put in legend. So let's do restart and run all. Because that'll clear everything out. If you do restart and run all, that will clear everything out. Well, anyway, so we've got that, and um, we're just going to leave that the way it is for the moment. It's just hmm. It says no handles. Okay, well, I'm not going to mess with the code too much because then it's going to make the um, the video last longer. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video because we've done our demonstration. We've compared our homemade linear regression with the SKLearn linear regression. And we found out that the less SKLearn linear regression has less error. So, um, I haven't looked at the source code of the SKLearn linear regression, but obviously they've done something different. They've done something different, which has made the error less. So, I'll see if I can find the source code to the SKLearn linear regression so I can find out what they've done differently to make the linear regression have less error. So that's the end of this video. Um, I would like to thank you for watching my video. Um, I would like to thank all of my subscribers for supporting my channel. 
and thank you so much again for watching my video and I'm looking forward to making more code reviews for you in the future.